In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up complaints GDPR slash CCPA cookie consent. This is what it looks like. So let's head to this website right here. And once we enter the website, on the bottom right corner, we're going to be prompted whether we accept the cookies of this website or not. Since I already use this website a lot, it's not showing me this, but I will show you what it looks like later on. So let's go to our website, plugins, add new, and search for the following keyword exactly. So we're not looking for another plugin. You're going to find it in the description down below. Copy it, click here. And here it is, this one. Click on install. And after installing this, click on activate. Right ahead, we've activated our website and now let's click on configure. You don't need to upgrade to premium as it already have what we need. So right now we are going to do the following. Which privacy law or guideline do you want to use the default visitors for you worldwide? So I'm going to just use the union, your opinion. I'm going to click X on this one. We don't really need the one. Do you target visitors from the following countries? No. Does your site have visitors with login access? No. So click on save, continue, choose the right things for you. So the cookie policy is going to be generated by them. The privacy statement, I'm going to have to link it later on to the privacy page. So link it to custom page, then imprint, imprint, no document, disclaimer, no document, click save and continue. Right here in the website information, who's the owner of the website, you're going to enter your name and what is your address as well. After entering this information, what's your country? For me, it's going to be Morocco, for example. What's the email address users can to contact? So, for example, this one, sorry. So, this email address will be used by people to contact me. Telephone number, you can leave that empty. And address and zip code, you can leave that, for example, as in private. And then the name or company name, you can put your website name. Click on save and continue on the bottom right corner. Security and consent. No, no, and respect. And I'm going to click save and continue on this one as well. So for the consent, I'm going to click on save and continue. So complaints will scan several pages. I can say scan and it will do a small scan for me and it will be good to go. So after it's scanned, click on save and continue. Right here, do you compile statistics of the website? Yes, and Google, for example, if you're using any of, I don't know, Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager right here. So I would say Google Analytics. I've accepted Google Data. Google is not allowed to use the data for other Google services. And IP address are anonymized. And that's basically it. Click on save and continue. Do you want to ask consent for statistics? No, because I'm not using it. And for example, do you want to use consent per service? No. Does your website use third party services? Yes. It's going to be using, for example, let's say YouTube, maybe, for example. And that's basically it. Google Fonts, maybe Google Recapacha, or none of them. We have them. So we can say no. Does your website? No. Does your website contain embedded social media? Yes, it does. So for example, let's choose whatever we have right here. Then you have stated that you don't use, do you use any plugins that might set marketing cookies? Yes. Does your website use cookies for advertising? Basically, it does because it's using uh, Google. Are any of your advertising cookies used to show off personalized ads? No. Does your website use WordPress comments? No. So save and continue. And that's basically it. We finished. Click save and continue again. The cookie description will be able to promote a lot of stuff right here. And then we will be prompted with one basic cookies, which are the following cookies. Click save and continue. I actually suggest that you only do this as only if you are done by using your plugins and everything else. So let's click save and continue. Save and continue. Finish and check cookie banner settings. And you're good to go. You can't, this is what it looks like. As I said, after you're done, click save, bottom left corner. 
and that's basically it thanks for watching guys i would like to note one thing is that this is really really important make sure that you have everything and all the files connected thanks for watching and goodbye